how's it going everyone and welcome to a new video on War Thunder. Today guys we'll be checking out the Panzer G. Uh, the Panzer G is a rank 3 German medium tank with a battle rating of 4.3. Well that's actually on arcade um, but I believe it's actually 4.4 on realistic battles. Um, it's actually a pretty cool medium um, a tank that you use on uh, War Thunder, especially for the, the battle rating. I actually like using this tank a lot um, to try and actually get a kind of few kills. Um, I also didn't actually realise but uh, the, this tank can actually hold up uh, up to I believe it was a maximum of 87 shells in the tank itself. And I mean there's actually 5 crew members that crew the tank so you just imagine how cramped the tank would be if you had like 87 shells in the tank. I mean. I wonder if they actually ever did, um, I don't think they probably would, honestly though, I don't know, uh, but how mad would that be having 87 shells in your tank, because I tell you now, it doesn't look like this uh, Panzer 4G here has a lot of space in the tank itself, but uh, yeah, um, it does have a 72, was it 72 I believe a millimeter um, main gun cannon, as you can see where I'm firing my rounds out of these uh, at these tanks over here in the distance that are trying to deploy smoke um, but I get a lot of good shots there is some parts where I'm actually panicking as you can see I'm just like oh god there's so many Shermans so I was like trying to get any shots but I mean look at those hits man beautiful penetration shots against those Shermans more Panzers moving up that but pretty fast um, I don't know if they're faster than the Shermans but they do have some sort of um, some speed like uh, especially you know when trying to either like out run another tank that's on your tail or maybe even trying to maneuver round and flank another tank like going against the KV-1 which has actually happened to me uh, many a times in this tank uh, there was a KV-1 once I remember one battle when I was playing with the Panzer 4G and it sounds like I'm so like oh god the Panzer's got 4G online connection guys back in World War 2 get it and that's where 4G come from <laughs> But uh, yeah, it, it's pretty handy, especially on maps like this, because you can really flank around tanks a lot faster with the speeds of the, the on the Panzer. Uh, I'm not too sure what the maximum speed is. Oh, okay, never mind. I just realised it tells you in the corner. Face palm. At the minute, it's actually going 44 um, km, which is pretty cool for a, a tank. Well, this size as well, which actually does a, a tiny bit of damage um, and penetration, which is really good. Alright, let's reverse a little bit. Oh, come on, let's get the shot right in. Oh, look at that, guys. I love how Warfarin has added that. I mean, it's obviously, it's always been in the game, but I just love how they've added that feature in where you shoot a tank and you can actually see, like, that where about to penetrate it. I love that. I love that feature. And that's why I love Warfarin. I, I don't know if the World of Tanks do that. I've never really played it because, I, well, I've played World of Tanks once and... Honestly guys, I didn't really like it because I like War Thunder because it's more towards realism. Hello, where are you going? T-34. Okay, oh hello Nov- oh my god, T-34s are trying to break out. Look at that, let's see if we can get a hit on his engine. Hello Panzer. Uh, you know there's a T-34 right now. Uh, Stug, can you move out the way? There's a, literally a Tiger tank behind you, you know. He's shooting at you, okay we've got a shot in his engine but I think he's just took out my bud there. Yep, rip that panzer. <laughs> god. Stug, what are you- oh my god. What are you guys doing? Do you not know how to drive a tank? There we go, nice. That tank crew is just- oh my god, there's Sherman's over there. Come and get shot on his engine. Oh nice, he is burning. Anyone want a barbecue? I smell some Sherman cooking. Alright, let's move back a little bit. Oh my god, you see that tank on the left there, like literally burning flames. I like this map guys, it's pretty mad, I mean when you do custom battles with, when you join custom battles with other people, I mean it's pretty cool because lots of people can just join and then you just have like a full out battle and stuff. I didn't actually know about custom battles until a little bit later on where someone said oh you can join random custom battles with people and I just saw this custom battle and I, um, I saw that the, they were available to use the the Panzer G, I was like, dude, I might actually record, do a video on this. Um, but there's still a lot of idiots on here because I think there's a lot of um, people who obviously just mess around, but everyone keep, kept ramming me for some reason, which was really annoying. 
um, while I was trying to shoot the, the enemies over them. It was pretty cool because whoever set this actual map up um, made it so that the Germans would be against like you know the Allies and of course KV-1s would be coming through here. Two KV-1s, look at that. Uh, I, I took a shot for him on the on his um, main gun there, which actually damaged that a little bit. And there's no KV-1. The thing, the thing is, these guys are so strong. These KV-1s. Come on, could get some shots in there. Nice. Oh, look at that beautiful hit on that KV-1. Ow, KV-1, can you back off, please? Okay, nice. KV-1's down. Yeah, the KV-1s are. Decent tanks. I thought they had a lot of stronger armor than that, but I mean the shell that I'm using is uh, definitely pretty OP. See, look at those shots, man. Awesome. I love, I love this tank. Definitely use, uh, definitely use it a lot. Um, it's actually also got a decent uh, amount of 80. I, I believe it's, I believe it was. It said on the, on the lobby, it had 80 millimeters of frontal armor, which is actually really decent to survive against um, encounters with obviously Shermans and T-34s, as you've uh, witnessed. It's actually still obviously light enough though to retain a good speed. It can actually perform a variety of playstyles such as a. Uh, front line assault support and a flanker as you can see from the speed as well um, so yeah it's a pretty decent tank I mean I like using it a lot for get ranking up some kills and definitely playing on a lot of custom battles and stuff as well to get used to it uh, that's a thing though that's what I used to do a lot before I started playing main games on War Thunder um, oh great I've got an engine fire I actually used to play a lot of custom battles just to get myself you know ready to play a lot more um, gameplay and stuff and that's actually what helped me rank up on the German line a lot more but yeah guys I really overall do like using the Panzer 4G um, definitely still using this I've actually started though growing getting to the bigger tanks you know like the Panthers and uh, obviously the Tiger 1 which you've seen in my previous videos but uh, I still like using the little guys they're still pretty cool tanks you gotta admit but yes everyone I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments of what your favorite German tank is uh, during World War II. So is it the Panzer line? Was it the maybe the Tiger II, the Tiger One? What year um, of tank you preferred? Maybe during like the, the early parts of the war, or the later parts of the war. I'd love to know your thoughts, guys, down in the comments below. Be awesome. And I'm actually also thinking about bringing a new series out. I'm not going to reveal it just yet. Um, because I, I'm actually trying to think about how I'm going to start it, but I'm thinking about bringing a new series out on War Thunder, uh, which I'm planning on doing again, but I don't know how to start it yet, so uh, hopefully we'll get that sorted soon. But uh, thank you so much everyone for watching, I hope you did enjoy this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day guys.